So and it is time for my final thought. Now I have some great news to announce. Our city, Washington DC, was just named the best place for millennials by WalletHub. Congratulations. That is a personal finance website. Now WalletHub compiled the list of the most livable places for 18 to 35 year olds using data from all 50 states and DC, ranking them on affordability, education and health, quality of life, economic health and civic engagement. Pretty sure we didn't win on affordability. And we do have all these education scandals, but the district crushed in everything else. Now, D.C. being a transient city really helps because all you need for an opening line is, hey, where you from? That's a guaranteed five minute conversation, even if you're ugly. Now, according to the survey, the nation's capital is home to the highest share of millennials, comprising nearly 35 percent of the total workforce and doing nearly five percent of the work. Hey, we got blogs to update. What do you want? Now, people like being around their peers. Millennials aren't trying to search for their soulmates at some cabaret where you bring your own wine coolers and turkey before hand dancing to Al Green's greatest um, hits. Florida was named the worst state for millennials. That's not surprising. Unless you're a pro athlete or a bikini model, you'll spend most of your time with swamps, racism, and gators in that order. And that's not to mention, <laughs> Cocaine could just fly into your purse at any time, like my girl earlier this week. So DC, let's celebrate being number one at something. Millennials, live your best lives and enjoy the nice weather this weekend by doing the most millennial things possible. Get brunch somewhere with outdoor seating. Find a new neighborhood to gentrify. Adopt a rescue. <laughs> Get a job as a barista, but don't keep any job longer than three years. Take pics in front of stuff you don't own. Hashtag blessed, hashtag beautiful life. Order online from the shop across the street. You can literally see the thing you just ordered. <laughs> Visit your parents. Oh no, don't go in. Just FaceTime them from the driveway. Loiter in a frozen yogurt shop. Wear your little brother's Ooh. pants and a shirt with a pattern from grandma's curtains. Grow a beard. If you're a man, grow a mustache. And document the entire thing on your Instagram story that has so many parts it can't be watched in its entirety before it disappears in 24 hours. Let's get started right now. Enjoy your Friday. I'm on Facebook Live.